Okay, are we still recording? Yes, I see the number changing. Now, don't cut out. Do you hear me? Please, I just can't take it. I'm gonna have to check like every 10 seconds. That makes me crazy. All right, the point of this is I went to Hobby Lobby to pick up anything that might be available that I would like at my Hobby Lobby that was on clearance because I've seen everybody else go into Hobby Lobby and show in their haul videos and I wanted to do it too. <laughs> Plus shopping's fun, right? Don't pass up a good little shopping trip. So anyway, I went to just see what mine had and of course there was um, plenty there for me to choose from, no problem. It's hard for me to not find something to purchase, right? So here's my Hobby Lobby receipt. See, I bought a lot of stuff. But everything I bought that day was on sale. Now, this says that I saved $25. Well, I think that's wrong because right here, just in this stuff, I saved basically here $55 just in these products. And I have several other things that I found there, too, on clearance. So, I don't know where they're getting their total savings of $25.70 because, you know, I don't know. But they're wrong. I saved much more than that. All right, let me cut out, cut this out because it's making a lot of noise. Well, no, this is the, the savings on the Jane Davenport pad, drawing pad. Or coloring pad. I'm checking to see if I'm videoing still because I did almost the whole video last time and when I looked something told me to look up there it was stopped so I said well okay I'll just pick up where I you know left off when it quit and it had recorded all of three seconds of that video <laughs> three seconds mind you I was a little furious. And the thing is, I've got to go to the dentist today. I'm getting a crown. I'm dreading it, but I've got to go get ready for that. So, okay, I'll hush now. Moving on. Go to Hobby Lobby. Check out the clearance um, if you haven't already. And um, also, don't just go to the clearance section. Go to the, you know, the aisles, the, the sections. What do you call that? The... See, I knew the word in the other video, and now I can't think of it. They're in their department. Yeah, check out the departments you find this stuff in, like the mixed media aisle, you know, that has all the Jane Davenport and Tim Holtz and Diane Reevely and Dina Wakely, all that stuff. That's where these actually were. They were not in the clearance section. In fact, my Hobby Lobby's clearance section has gotten to be very um, bare, you know, sparse. That's the word, not bare, but sparse, you know. Just not much over there. So, that's cool. Whatever. Um, so, let's get started with uh, talking about what I found. First of all, Ranger's Mini Misters. For three of these little guys, you would normally pay regular price of $8.99. Okay, not, let's be real here. That's $9. And I got them for a, a buck twenty-four. That's excellent. So, in case you've never seen a Mini Mister... It looks like this, and you just um, unscrew this part, put your water in, and you've got a nice, you know, little mister. I bought these for traveling. Or, both my daughters are off in school, and so I like to visit them, you know, when I can, and I have to drag art stuff everywhere I go, if, especially if it's an overnight. Anything overnight, I'm dragging art things with me. Too much, but, you know. That's all right. I'd rather have it and drag it than be somewhere and go, you know, oh no, I should have brought so-and-so. Anyway, it's a little pump action mister. And I, you know, um, whoops, whoops. Okay, lost well, that one. I'll find it. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I think I bought these a set when I first started doing mixed media about five years ago. And I haven't purchased any cents, even though I've lost one or two of them, because they're so expensive for what they are. I mean, the original price of $8.99, you're basically paying $3 for the three misters each. So at $1.24, that's a good buy. You know, I keep at my desk um, 
this big spray bottle for, you know, needing plenty of water. But like I said, the little ones are perfect for taking on the go. Okay, the next thing I got that I was excited about are the um, stickles. And they're originally $6, so it's like $2 um, dollars a bottle. They're $5.99, $6. I got them for $1.49 for the set of three. And I have this one. I think that one comes in a lot of the sets. But I didn't have this pretty pink or purple. I do have a purple, but it's almost a blue color compared to that. It's kind of dark. And then I had this other pink. It's almost a pinkish purple color, almost like a light mauve. So I'm excited about these. I love some stickles. Okay. The next thing is that I wanted to show you is this art pad from Jane Davenport. I have looked at this before or picked it up and, you know, thought about making a purchase. But it was um, originally $12. And I just at the time, you know, it just wasn't a good price point for me at the time for what it was. I'm, I'm trying to draw faces. So I was very interested in getting this and, you know, tracing over some of the, the faces that she's drawn just to try to get a feel for the placement and um, features and stuff. But anyway, I just, I couldn't um, justify $12 on it at the time. Well, it's reduced now to $2.99 at my Hobby, Hobby Lobby. So I thought $3 was well worth that. So, what you have inside, oh, this is called Jane Davenport Making Faces Mixed Media. This is called I Came, I Saw, I Contoured, 18 Face Charts on Mixed Media Paper. And inside, at the back, you have some blank pages, and then you have um, drawings that are, you know, ready for you to color uh, using whatever media you'd like. And they have different expressions. You know, they're looking different ways. That one's got her eyes closed, open. And, and then it just repeats. And another set. So I think you end up with three sets of all the prints. Um, and on the cover, it gives you... No, it's not the cover. It's the first page. The front is all um, foreign language. So flip to the back. And it gives you... Um, steps. It says, I designed these face charts so you can practice adding color, dimension, and detail to your work. I find it helpful to think of making the parts of the face that protrude, like the nose and cheekbones, lighter and make areas of the face that fall back darker. Um, that's a matter, then it's a matter of connecting the two. There are many ways you can add color, but here are two methods you can try and they work for any shade of skin. The method one is called the makeup artist approach and she has illustrations of the five steps and talks you through those and gives you a little tip. The method two is called the mixed media artist approach. She has illustrations of that and talks you through the steps. And it says down at the bottom, you're invited to visit janedavenport.com for instructional videos, books, and workshops. See you there. Um, X's and O's, Jane Davenport. So, what I did was, on the first video, <laughs> we were looking at these. Um, they are called, I don't know what they're called, Jane Davenport. Let me get out my handy dandy. Let me clean this. Magnifying glass. I wear glasses and even with my glasses on, my bifocals, fun fun, I can't read this little print. It just says Jane Davenport making faces mixed media. Okay, so this is just a method of or a, a media to use to put color on whatever you'd like. And this color is called Ice Palace. It's a very pretty um, blue. Let me take it out so you can see past the stickers. These were originally $7.99, $8. And I got them for $1.99 each. And of course, I'm gonna take the um, packaging this and I'll save this to make a tag with later. I don't generally keep these plastic things. Um, 
Some people might have good ideas for something to do with those, but I don't. So, this is Ice Palace, and what it is, uh, you unscrew the top, and I love this. Look, it looks like a um, lip gloss applicator. Maybe you can see better over here. Yeah. Anyway, it's very pretty blue. And on the when I was trying to video before, I actually colored in her eyes this really pretty blue. So now on this video is um, we'll do the lips together. So these colors are this color is Pink Princess. It's a light rose color. Mm. Like this. Very pretty. And then this color is called Monarch. Check in. Yes, I'm still videoing. So let's try. Let's see one of these. Monarch. And then there is Noble Red. And I'm sure there are probably other colors. These are just the ones that were at my store. In fact, I'm going to um, Wilmington today and to see one of my girls and stay with her a couple of days. And I'm going to check and see if their Hobby Lobby has any more of these. I, th I like them. And the other thing is, they smell really good. Oh, they're just so sweet and clean smelling. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to pick a color to do her lips. Okay, still videoing. Um, I think I'm actually going to use this real pretty red. And what I did with the eyes to I you know pulled this out and then I wiped off the excess from this little brush or sponge. It's almost like it's just like an old you know lip gloss applicator with the little sponge tip. Okay. And she said somewhere, it may be on the packaging of these, that um, a little goes a long way. And she's right about that. It absolutely does. So we'll color in her top lip here. And the, the brush tip is kind of slanted. So I can turn it and have um, more of a, I guess like a point tip. So I can control you know, getting this color in on some of these uh, smaller areas. But yeah, I kinda need a little bit more. Yeah, I think these are fun. You know, I think it's definitely worth the, the price of um, $2. But no, I wouldn't have paid $8. No, I wouldn't have paid $8 for these. But for $2, yeah, lots of fun. But they, oh, they smell so good. Okay, and, you know, if you don't want to go all the way to the edge, you could use, like, um, your Prismacolor, or any kind of colored pencil you have. Oh, I went outside of the line there a little bit. But anyway, that gives you an idea. You could probably take a, um, your fingertip or a sponge and maybe use some of um, this like light color to do her, uh, add her some cheek color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit, literally a little bit on my fingertip. Maybe I ought to put it on something else. Um, what, what, what? Okay, I'm gonna use this tag. Let's put some color on this tag. See, it has a glossy finish. Okay, then we'll close this back up. So I'm taking Pink Princess and I'm just gonna blot off my fingertip a little bit and then just give her some lightly brush on some of that pink color. Oh, I got a little place that's kind of too dark. Let's see if I can smudge it out. Anyway. <laughs> That's a little too dark in that one spot, like right there. That's all right. Get a little going here. Oh, this is fun. Finger painting faces. I actually like that. 
Okay, that's good for now, just to give you an idea. And I'll just spread this on. I want to see if this dries and stays on here. It's very creamy. Or if it, you know, I want to see if it stays creamy on this um, glossy surface. So we'll check this out in just a little bit and see what it's done. So there's her face. <laughs> She's got beautiful aqua blue eyes and some hot, hot red lips. And we put some blush on. That's fun, isn't it? I think it is. I'm, I think I'm going to have fun with these. Yeah. Okay. So, let's move on. The other Jane product um, is this set. And it's called, or they're called Color Sticks. And I'm guessing that they're like gelatos or something. It says there's a color swatch card included. So... Um, let's see. I haven't seen... Oh, you know what? I think this is what Dee Dee Willingham was using on her show yesterday. To Monday, I mean, maybe. Okay, on the back it says, Color sticks are a smooth and easily blendable water... Oh, they're water-soluble. Non-toxic gel crayon you can use on multiple surfaces. So it's probably something similar to the... Um, Gelatos. Oh look, there's a pretty face in the on the back of the packaging you could practice on too. And these were originally $13.99, so $14, and I got them for $3.50. So definitely worth giving a try, even if they're awful. They come in a very nice package. It's clear so you can see your color sticks. Color sticks soul window. S-O-U-L, one day, Jane Davenport. All right, let's open these up. Oh, they open this way. Oh, there's two little tabs you pop up. Oh, isn't that pretty? Rainbow, I like it. All right, let's get... Um, okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let me show you something else I got, and then we'll use this. These are... Um, it's by Prima. And they're mixed media books. I got two of them because that's all they had. If they'd had more, I would have purchased more because these were normally $13. And I picked them up for $3.24 a piece. Yep, would have picked up every one of them if they'd had them. Um, and it says, it's called a mixed media book. It's size A5, which is five. 8 inches by 8.3 inches. There are 32 sheets of acid-free paper in here. Oh, it's um, 140 pound or 300 of uh, the GSM. So, that's very nice paper. That's like watercolor weight paper. Wow. Yes. Hmm. Pick these up. Don't skip over this. I found these in my Hobby Lobby. These were not with the regular journals, you know, that are down by the fine art center, um, fine art section. These were in the mixed media stuff. In fact, right under the Jane Art, J excuse me, Jane Davenport, you know, things hanging on the fixture. And then down at the bottom, um, you know, there's that, um, you know, flat area at the very base of the um, section and these were sitting on that on the bottom so very nice so what we're gonna do is open this up and pick a stick huh, pick a stick and um let's do um let's see what colors we have here let's just do a rainbow let's do red oh okay oh pretty and i'm sure yep you twist them up to get more of it out and back in. Let's just make a rainbow. You know, when I was little, I always wanted to have a um, red. I wanted to have orange. A rainbow wall. I wanted to paint all my walls white and then have one wall that had a giant rainbow from the floor to the ceiling. And I wanted my mom to do it. My mom is very good. She's an artist. She could, oh, and she can draw 
We'll go ahead and go to this bright yellow. We'll skip that other one. Yellow. Oh, these are, they feel very creamy when you um, draw with them. Let's see, we're doing Roy G. Biv, so green. And then we're going to, um, oh, I didn't put the, oh, I did that one wrong too. I've got, I'm gonna have to turn all these around. I want them facing up. G, Bib, Sunny, Blue, Indigo, and Violet. To me, this is blue. That's Indigo, I think, to me, and Violet. All right, we're going this way. I, I'm sure I'm probably wrong. Y'all are probably out there saying, no, <laughs> that's not Indigo. But that's what I think of um, Indigo as a, a darker blue. I feel like maybe they've melted. They look kind of crooked in there. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. And this is funny, and I, I hope somebody pays attention to what I'm saying now. I have found that we draw rainbows backwards typically. We always start on the inside with red and go out spelling Roy G. Biv. I mean, as a school teacher, I actually taught kids that. But if you look at a rainbow, a real rainbow outside, I noticed the colors are not that way. They start with the the warmer colors up on the top of the rainbow and the, the um, cooler colors are actually underneath. So I've started drawing mine that way. Although, you know, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, there's a violet too, but anyway. All right, let's take just a icky paintbrush. So let's just start blending. Ooh, add some water. They're very blendy. Oh, that's fun. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, I think these are going to be better than the um, smoother, easier to blend than the gelatos. I have a whole bunch and I never use them, which is a shame because there they are. And But part of the problem is they're not out where I can see them and I'm getting ready to redo my craft room again just for um, that reason. There are a lot of things I'm not using because I don't have them in a convenient you know, place. Okay, let's go to the green and then we'll do the cool colors. Okay, yeah, this works for me. I can see this she's um, on the faces of the Jane Davenport girls, you know, that she's drawn in that book or you know, your journal, your art journal, on canvases, anything. Yeah, they blend really nice, so. Okay, there's a fun little kitty um, rainbow. I love rainbows, though. Anyway, I never got that rainbow in my room. <laughs> anyway, I, what I was saying about my mom is she's a very good artist. Um, she can draw like nobody's business. She's very detail-oriented. Um, but yeah, I was hoping I could talk her into doing the rainbow on my wall. So anyway, um, I'm going to be um, moving my room around so I can use some of my other things like gelatos and these. I'll probably right now go, after this video, go put these in the same drawer that the gelatos are in and I won't see them, but I, I want to use them. Oh, you know what? Let's try smudging with our finger and see how that does. Let's do some pink and orange together. Okay, let me dab that off. I'm just gonna dab it just a bit to get some of that really wet off. Oh, I could hit it with my heat gun. So hold on, I'm gonna do heat gun. Just really quick. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. They're fun. I have a feeling that um, that blending with your finger is going to be easy. So let's just do some here. And then maybe, I love orange and pink together. And then let's see what this color looks like. It's sort of a golden, oh, there it is. That one's farther down. Sort of a gold, orange, orangey gold. Sort of looks like squash. All right, 
So just with my dry fingertip. Oh, that orange is really nice. Oh yeah, they blend very nicely. Let me go back to this pink. Oh, the pink is a little more, it's got a little more um, grab to it. Let me wet my finger just a little bit. It's just damp. Oh yeah, that's all it took was this a little drop of water there on my fingertip. That looks nice. Oh, they're fun. Okay, these are staying near my desk because I like those a lot. They are, they are um, creamier and much more easily blended than the um, gelatos, I have to say. Maybe I have bad gelatos, you know, I don't know. I just know they were difficult to work with sometimes. You know, like you'd blend it, but you'd still see the lines underneath where you actually originally put it down. You couldn't get those original lines off, it seemed. Okay, so that's, I think, all of my Jane Davenport stuff and Ranger products. No, not it's not all of it, but that's the majority of it. Oh, I, look, I smeared from the... um. From my napkin I'm using. Oh, I like that. Oh, there's some purple on there. Let's see if I can get some more. So anyway, I'll use this as the beginning of a background, you know, to do something else. Yes, we're still videoing. All right, so these, um, like I said, were, what did I say? Oh, where's the other one? Crikey, how do I do this? Oh, time. I've lost a pair of scissors during this time, and now I've lost this other book. How do you lose a book like this? Oh, no. Am I still videoing? Yes. Okay, it says I'm getting ready to run out of power, so let's plug in. I wonder if it'll charge while I'm doing this. I don't know. Oh, here it is. I wanted, oops, to find the price again. $12.99 regular price. Purchased it for $3.24. So, definitely want to run and grab some of these if you haven't checked already. Excellent price point for that by Prima. I need some lotion on my hands. They're getting um, dry. Oh. All right, let's pop that back in there, trying to keep things a little clean. The next thing that I went on a hunt for were um, things for my Big Shot for to do die cuts. The thing I'm most excited about, usually always, are getting um, the basic shapes for my die cut. You know, I've got a few sets of those stamps that come with, you know, uh, two, three, four um, little uh, shapes that match the stamps, you know, so I've ended up with some die cuts like that, but I haven't really been purchasing sets of just straight die cuts. So anyway, it turned out they had um, a good selection of these on sale and clearance. So these are by Sizzix. They're called Framelits. This one was $19.99, 20 bucks, and I got it for $4.99, $5. And these are the um, ovals. There's a set of seven in that. And these work on Sizzix, Big Kick, Big Shot, and Vagabond. So, okay, there's that set, the ovals. The next... See if I got any more Sizzix stuff. Yes, I did. Um, let me show you those first. And then these. I got several of these because I'm tired of not having die cuts. You know, just, I've had it. <laughs> anyway. Okay, let me go through the Tim Holtz stuff. So, the next set I picked up were these tags from Tim Holtz. They were $19.99 and got them for $3.74, so that was even a better savings than the ovals. And they're just um, different, you know, sorted shaped tags, and they have the little hole at the top, so you can put a brad or, um, what's the other thing called? A, an eyelet, yeah, um, on them. And they're in, you know, they provide, these provide you with a little um, plastic storage pack 
to keep them in. Let's see. So, isn't that nice? That's definitely nice. And you just pop open the back. It's like an envelope. And then there are all of your uh, metal dies. So, that was a good price. The other um, Tim Holtz product I got was a 3D embossing folder. And this one is called Foundry. And it looks like, um, you know, like it, a bunch of rivets, like a metal door or something with a bunch of rivets holding the metal pieces together. You open it up like this, put your paper in, and then run it through your machine, and these um, press on the paper and make the texture. So I think that one will be a lot of fun. That glare. Anyway, so that's called Foundry. And this one was originally $7.99, so $8, and I got it for $1.99. So that was a good buy, I think. Oh, let me put that under here. Then the rest of these are just straight up Sizzix. Um, this set is, that irritates me, Garden Shed. Okay, now I know where to look, Garden Shed. Has, you know, the little wheelbarrow. Aren't they cute? And since I'm planning on doing a um, some gardening and flower floral themed journals, this was worth the three twenty four I paid for it. It was originally twelve ninety nine. Then let's see. Here's some other. Okay, related to that are these. Um, I got this one. It is called Rain Boot Planter. It was. $10, so it was $9.99. I got it for $2.49. I got this flower set called Bold Flora, and these were $12.99, and I got those for $3.24. It includes a butterfly. This set is called Bird Scene, and it was originally $9.99, and I got it for $2.49. And I'm also planning on doing some food theme journals along with cooking um, or kitchen, you know, theme journals. And um, I thought these would be cute, like fun foods, you know, desserts. And I just think they're cute. <laughs> these little ice creams and cake and macaroons. Oh my gosh, I love that stuff. I always, I love anything that's like play food, even kid toys, like when you're you know, for toddlers, they have those foods that are plastic and you can cut them. They're held together with Velcro. I just think that's precious. These are $12.99 and I got these for $3.24. And it has all of these cute little food um, designs. Then this brand is Spellbinders. And I got two of these sets. This is a background um, die cut. It's a large one. It was originally $19.99 and I got it for $4.99. This set is called Doily Round by Spellbinders 2. It was $24.99. I would not pay $24.99 for this. I'm sorry, I just wouldn't. I got it for $6.24. So that was worth it. And I looked over at the clock when I, right after I was talking about the man mandala and this first one from Momenta. And my appointment to get my crown done was at 3 o'clock. And, um, I looked over at my clock and it was 2.35. <laughs> and it's a good um, 15 or 20 minute drive to get to my dentist. So I just stopped right there and ran and did what I needed to do to you know, finish getting ready really quick and went over, got my crown done. It didn't hurt, it was great. I have the best dentist in the world. And um, anyway, that's all taken care of. So let's um, finish where I left off. Okay, so the next group of um, die cuts are from a company called Momenta. And this one is called... <laughs> oh, right there, Build a Flower. So just simple um, flower design. This lamp, I need a new lamp. This desk lamp. I had since um, I went off to college a long time ago. All right, so we've got our money's worth out of that. <laughs> anyway, um, eight pieces, and I'm taking it that you can mix and match the flower shapes and put on the stem. Oh, the price was $12.99, and I paid $3.24. Then 
this set is, mm -hmm. maybe that's not the name of that because A2 Fits A2 Card is not the name of this set, I'm sure. I don't think these have names. It looks to be a set of um, butterflies or flowers and um, foliage uh, strips. And you could certainly um, leave them as they are or cut them apart into individual pieces. This set is an A2 mat size. So it's a background um, die cut, you know, just one big um, solid, well, not solid, but you know what I mean, one piece in, in total, just um, flowers and leaves, which I think is very pretty. And then, that's a mark on there. Oh, wait, 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 let me go back. This set was $14.99, and I got it for $3.74. And this is a set of nested shapes. It was $16.99, and I got it for $4.24. And it's just um, a square, like an ornate square, scalloped um, shape. I thought that'd be pretty for, um, you know, to put behind pictures or to put journaling cards on, whatever. So, those are going to be a lot of fun. And I need to find somewhere in my craft room to put my um, Big Shot. I'd use it more often if it was out. So, that's one other thing I'm looking forward to taking care of when I redo my craft room, which is whew, gonna be a big job. I got two rolls of this gold um, duct tape duck glitter tape. I thought they were very pretty. I love um, the duct tape, all these pretty designs, colors, prints um, that they have. These were $8.99 a roll, and I got it for $2.49. I mean, there's only 180 inches on there, which if I wasn't videoing on my phone, I could figure out how many feet that is. If I could math, I guess it's like 50 feet, because 180 divided by three, five times, no, five times three is 15, six, 60 feet, maybe. I don't know, y'all. I'm not good at math in my head, never have been. Anyway, I thought that was a good buy for these. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty. I love glittery stuff. You know, I'm not too scared of glitter, but I try not to use it very often because it is such a um, mess. Messy mess. Oh, I skipped over these. I was trying to get all of the painty and mixed media stuff. Then I found these little paint packs. They were $16.99, and I got them for $4.24. And they are called Sparks Acrylic Paint Art Alchemy. And they're by Prima. Um, this color set is called Carnival. And let's take these out and see what they look like and what they do. Okay, so Carnival colors look like this. There's a purple, orange, and a green. And they're very... Oh, they're very metallic-y and um, sparkly. Looks like a really fine glitter in there. Let's see what the box says. Great quality metallic acrylic paint with beautiful shimmer and shine you've never seen before. Soft, creamy, and rich in color with the most beautiful sparkly effect. Great for artistic and decorative use. Easy to apply with a paintbrush and permanent after drying. That's good to know non-toxic and archival safe. Okay, these look like fun. Yeah, and I wouldn't have paid $16.99 for these three, but $4.24, that's doable. <laughs> so, these colors are, this is Iris Potion, I like that name. Ginger Magic, the um, orange color. And the green is Fairy Wings. Oh, they're pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, let's set these over here. This set is called Fantasy, 
Let's see what fantasy looks like. Uh -huh. And here are the colors for fantasy. This one is called Butterfly Spells. Okay, it's in a different place there. That was hard to find. Butterfly Spells. Let's turn these over this way so we can see the colors. Yeah, okay. So, Butterfly Spells is a peachy pink. This one is um, Unicorn's Hair. And it's a, it's a funny color. It's kind of a gold, but has a green tint to it. This one, the blue, is Mermaid Sparkle. And that describes that very, very accurately. Okay, the third set that they had is called Masquerade. I have a feeling I'm going to like these, too. I like them all so far. They're beautiful. All right, Basic Gold, which is called... Dragon's Eye, and then, oh, um, Basic Blue, Light Blue, is called Magical Pond, and then, oh, a dark color, this is Raven Black, so there are the colors for these Sparks Acrylic Paints. And they are from Prima. Yep. And it says it's a shimmer finish acrylic paint. Well, we just need to check this out really quick. Very quickly. Very briefly. We'll go back to our little experiment book here that you all need to run get if you haven't gotten been there already. All right. Let's pop those there and there and there. And I'm going to do a swatch of each one. Now, this brush that I'm going to use this time, Stabilo, came in my set of Woody's. Um, I got these from Amazon. Love, love, love these. This is another thing that's a good investment. They're marvelous. Anyway, they had the little, you know, cheap brush. Well, I just find it useful for all kinds of quick little things and keep it, um, you know, not in with my good brushes for watercolor and other paints. Anyway, I'm dip that in some water. Grab a an old paper towel piece. Okay, let's go from. Let's start with the pink. Okay, so they do have a, oh, seal, it's very, um, oh, I just splattered that on the sheet. Oh, no, this is one of my vintage sheets. Okay, I think I'm going to like these a lot. Let me wipe that off. Okay, I think I can probably get enough paint just right off of the, oh, my goodness. Ooh, if you like glitter, you're going to love this. That's pretty, people. Um, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. If they have more, I'm, just from this one swatch, I'm going back to get them. I can tell you that. And a little bit goes a long way. This was the butterfly spells. Okay. The, the pretty pink butterfly spells. Beautiful. Look, it's already almost dry. What? That's pretty dry. <laughs> so it dries fast. Rinse this. Okay, let's go to the, um, let's go to this color. So we've done that one. Shake them up just a little bit. This color is Ginger Magic. After I swatch them, I'll um, hold it up closer to the camera so you can see better. Ooh, is that showing up good? That is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. They're stunning. 
I see great things come in with this. You know, this reminds me of the PBO paints. Oh, I love those too. I only, in fact, have like two tubes of that. A green, maybe three, a green and a blue and a pink. And they're um, iridescent like or metallic. Yep. That's what this reminds me of. Let me go ahead and show you these. Can you see the, can't get it tip right, there you go. They're just mm, gorgeous. Okay, let's do the gold, which is called um, Dragon, Dragon's Eye. Wow, something has happened with this one. Look at the top of this. Look at the state of this. I don't know if somebody's been playing with it or what. I don't know what that black thing was. Kind of looks like something exploded. Okay, let's just, there's paint up here. Probably somebody was messing with it in the store. Anyway, moving on, I'm not gonna let that bother me. Still good paint, I think. Beautiful. Oh yeah, these are gorgeous. Now let's do this olivey green. Um, Unicorn's hair, or, yep, unicorn's hair, okay. Well, that little top came right off, so I'll just dip out of that. Oh, that's pretty. It's very pretty. Prettier than what I thought it would be. Okay, that's really nice, liking that. They are very glittered, um, very fine glitter, which I love. You know, they don't look cheap. They look expensive and nice. Okay, this green one is Fairy Wings. This will probably be my favorite green. Okay. Let me just get, oh, I think I, did I do that? I don't know, just to be sure do it again. I'm just going to pull some off of that seal. Ooh, that's lovely. Okay, so let's try this one. Sort of a turquoise color. It's called Mermaid Sparkle. Oh, that's nice. That's really pretty. It does have an iridescence about it. Yep, I think that might be my favorite so far. I don't know, I'm really liking the orange color too. Okay, now let's try the blue Magical Pond. Let's see if you look magical. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. And they do, they dry very quickly. They almost have, like looking at it from where I'm sitting, it almost looks like that color change paint. Like you, I can see green in there, in this magical pond. This one, um, whoops, um, the green. Fairy wings. Is I can see the green, but also gold very clearly. So that's kind of cool. And this purple is called, I, I was gonna say Irish Potion, it's called Iris Potion. Lord, I splattered that pink everywhere. Ay, 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 I'm gonna have to cut this fabric off for scrap, okay. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. It's plum, sort of a plum color. Uh, that's nice. Oh, I like these a lot. Have any of you um, heard of these before or used them? 
Of course, I know I'm not in the know for a lot of things, obviously, but I haven't seen or heard anybody um, using these. They're gorgeous, I think. And this one is Raven Black. There is no S on that one. Okay. So this will be the darkest one. I bet this is really cool. Mm-hmm. This is more of a pewter color, more so than a black, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, throw that in the water. These are going to be a boatload of fun. Okay, so there they are. I'll turn it this way. And, um, yep, they're just stunning colors. So, run to Hobby Lobby, <laughs> and hopefully you'll find some of these to have for yourself at home. Or, you know, if you were scared to try them, don't be. Um, I think they're going to be all kinds of fun. So. All right, so we'll stick that over there. Now, the rest of the stuff that I got was more along the lines of just straight-up crafting. Look, that's almost dry. I mean, I can close that, and I don't think it'll stick. That's pretty good. Um, things like this, um, eyelash trim, this, you know, fuzzy yarn, yarn called Limelight is normally $6.99 and I got it for $1.74. You know, I love lime green. So I got a skein of that. And this cord says flat leather strip in brown. You never know when you're going to need a good leather, you know, piece for something. Be it tying beads, you know, onto something or as a, you know, for a closure around a journal or for something else. So, um, it was normally $12.99 and I picked it up for $3.24. So, I thought that was a good buy. And then sequins. I love sequins. Um, I like these two colors that they had available. I love this one. It has, they look iridescent. I thought they were pretty. They were $1.99 and I got them for 49 cents each. So, they'll be fun. Then I found these um, spare parts from the paper studio. And there were two different sets that I like. I think there were um, other types that were um, there. These two sets were um, $4.99 a piece, and I got them for $1.49. Same for these. Uh, this set is sewing and scissors related. And so for doing uh, sewing journals, you know, these will be really cute to hang off of the side of the, the journal, you know, on the spine or on tags and things that you put inside. There's a coat hanger, scissors, a little sewing machine, a ruler, really cute. It says each one has 10 pieces in each pack. And then these two sets are utensils. So these would be great for um, a cooking journal. And it's spoons, knives, well, I hope there's a little tiny fork. They're cute. And there looks to be 10 pieces in each of those. $4.99, and I got them for $1.49. And I think these. this is the last two things that I got. I love these um, rosette ribbons. Vintage small rosette. Mm -hmm. And it's three quarters of an inch wide by three feet long. They were $5.99 each, and I got them for $1.49. But they're beautiful, you know, colors. I love this. It almost looks like the ink tea rose. Love that color, but the burgundy's really pretty too. Of course, white is always handy to have. So, lots of cool things at Hobby Lobby. Um, when I went with um, my daughter, I went, my other daughter, I went to see her where she goes to school, and so we ran to the Hobby Lobby just to check for sale things, and that particular Hobby Lobby um, already had um, sold out of most of these, you know, clearance items in each department. I just did a quick run through to see what was there, if there was, you know, like, any more of um, 
these little journals that I got. So I could pick those up, but they didn't have any of those available. Most of the Jane Davenport stuff um, was gone um, as well. So, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to Wilmington to see my youngest daughter. And I'll check the Hobby Lobby there and see if they have anything available. So, anyway, it was a lot of fun. And thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it. And um, look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.